guys, this is Eric, and that's Mac doing the camera. Today um, we're going to do a setup on the Australian White's Tree Frog right here. Uh, this one's not very old. It's probably about, I don't know, eight, nine months. Maybe a bit less than that. Uh, he's really cool. Um, really nice colors. And um, yeah, so we're just going to get him into a, his uh, setup. So first what I like to do is um, use this Eco Earth as the bottom substrate right here. And this keeps the humidity um, up, and Australian whites love humidity. So, yeah. I'm just gonna pour the rest of it in, because um, I don't need it for anything else. Okay, for sure. We're good. Okay, so now you're gonna like break up these like little chunks here. And then, um, yeah, the bag was open, so it was all dry, but it comes uh, really nice and moist, so I'm just going to have to put some water in here. And if you're wondering, this is a 10-gallon uh, um, yeah, tall uh, terrarium from Zilla, I believe it is. Um, Zilla's a good brand. I recommend them. Yeah, let me get some water. And I, um, this is tap water, but I filled it up with the dechlorinator. Make sure you do that. So put in a... I don't know, you can put in a liberal amount, the more the better. As long as it gets to a certain state of kind of like this um, nice crumbliness. Okay. All right, that should be good. Yeah. Right, so once I'm done with this, we will move on to the next. All right guys, Matt here. And uh, now, um, as you can see, um, you know, we already kind of made our mud, so we're ready to put um, the water the water bowl in. Uh, so this is gonna go like right in the corner here. And uh, you can just like, in this tank, it's not a big deal. You can just dig it in there a little bit, so it uh, won't tip it over, but. Yeah, so you can, um, it's not too much of a big deal because uh, the substrate's pretty loose right now, but um, I just like to fill in the bottom gaps here to uh, make sure like um, nothing, can get under stuff and it doesn't matter what corner it uh, aesthetically I think it looks the best like this because I'm gonna add some uh, branches and stuff and plants on to this corner so yeah um, now that that's done we'll fill it up and then get back to the next all right guys um, as you can see um, Eric's got this uh, nice uh, trunk right here it's called uh, Max Driftwood, I believe. You can get it at uh, online. Uh, Petco, PetSmart, I believe, sells it. Um, it comes in a variety of different sizes and shapes, and I thought this one was really cool, even though it's uh, smaller. But um, yeah, so I was just gonna add it kind of um, up like this, and so it'll be kind of sticking out, so he has like a little perk. All right, so guys, so as you can see, we just added some... We some added some, uh, sorry, Driftwood. Uh, like we mentioned before this and we couldn't actually find a good spot for it. It was really hard to um, Make it stand still so we ended up just putting it in the corner here where if you look right here um, You can see that the extension of it is going over the water bowl, which is what I wanted at least So now we're just gonna add finishing details with like plants um, We didn't act I didn't use a vine because right now he's actually too big for a vine and so I just thought it was kind of pointless to have a vine and vines are hard to clean. They're hard to put in. So yeah, now I'm just going to add one more plant right here. Um, this plant's pretty old, but it still works. And yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, maybe I should add one more there. Could, but um, yeah, I will do that later. So now we're going to get to the top. So. I have a lid right here. Um, this tank comes with a lid. So it just snaps on like that. And his, I have this um, for heating for him because uh, Australian whites actually like their uh, temperatures a bit warmer and they grow a lot faster. So this one is a 25 watt halogen. Um, th my house is very well insulated and it gets warm in here, even in the cold winter. We live in California, so there's not too much of a winter, but um, it still can get cold. Like right now we're filming, uh, what, end of November right now? November yeah. 
29th is today and it's 45 degrees 45 degrees 44 degrees outside so it can get nippy but um it's really warm right here blinds are closed so it's not too cold near the window and so i have a 25 watt uh these are called halogen um domes and they come small like this and the bulb is called a halogen bulb they're about this big um they can come in like day blue night red this one i believe is night red i want to say or day blue um but yeah uh so these basically emit heat pretty well they're small oop kind of just fell down and they save energy so i like to use these for um heating up and actually yeah this one is night red so yeah all right guys so uh right here we got um the uvb um this is uh i believe this is from exoterra both things are so this is the dome uvb from exoterra it's meant for 10 gallon verticals um except this isn't an exoterra tank but that um doesn't matter it still works uh see so yeah, you would just sit it right on top of here and plug it in the switch is right here but what i like about this is um it's pretty easy to change um the bulbs last i would say you should change your uvbs around every six months um when you start noticing that the bulb is done as this this part will start turning kind of yellow this part will too See, so, yeah, as you can see, I've used it for about three months now. So I'm just going to still have about three more months of use in it. But as you, uh, if you don't know, UVBs are for getting uh, essential vitamins and sunlight. It's basically artificial sunlight. So this will go on in the day. And this little thing here will come on during the night, like right now. And yeah, so yeah, now we'll move on to the next thing. Now we'll put in frog himself or herself i don't exactly know and he's really jumpy so i'm just gonna i so there he is oh we're good we're good he's very jumpy there he is right there chilling so that's the Australian white right there, um, coming into his new home. Uh, this is his first time uh, since I've got him that I've uh, changed his tank. He was actually originally in a 10 gallon um, horizontal, and so um, I wanted this guy to get into a bigger tank. So yeah, so the bulb is right here, is on his perch area. And uh, like I said, um, they like warmer temperatures better. And for diet variety, I feed him superworms, waxworms, crickets, uh, roaches. But um, they, they can get big enough to uh, eat pinkies. I've seen larger ones. So, yeah. Uh, and, um, yeah, especially with frogs and stuff, you want to make sure... You spray them. You uh, miss them with water and um, at least a few times a day. Especially down in the, the bottom of the tank and on the leaves, too. Because they uh, hold the humidity, yeah. which they really like. But, um, yeah, I if, mean... And, um, if you didn't know, uh, tree frogs and, I believe, toads and... I don't know about all frogs, but I know most frogs actually, uh, drink water from their skin. Uh, so, um, you gotta make sure, uh, number one of these guys especially, they like to use their, uh, water bowl as their bathroom. So, you gotta make sure you clean it, uh, every, I don't know, once a week or so at the end of the week. Um, because it, they drink water from their skin and if the bowl is just filled with lots of fecal matter It's not going to be good in the end or healthy. So yeah, this is a uh, Australian white tree frog new setup um, He's a juvenile and Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments leave them down below uh, link into the uh, IG will be in the description Instagram. We have an Instagram and um, yeah, so we're going to keep making videos, guys. Thanks for all your support. Um, and this is Matt and Eric signing out. Bye.